Hey folks, here are the addresses for the official forum page at the Civ Fanatics for the Caveman of Cosmos and for the mod database. And if you have annotations on, I will also have links that you can just click on and take you straight there. Hey everybody, welcome back to our playthrough of Caveman to Cosmos. Um, we've got Prehistoric Dance coming up in two rounds. We had just finished up turn... 150. I notice Narlograd over here has grass huts coming online in one turn. Let's take a look, make sure there's something, and there is not. Alright, let's take a look. What we're going to do is add the lean tos to it. What is that? Basket Weaver's hut. Okay, yeah, we've got a couple other things going on. Let's go ahead and add lean tos to the list so that if there's any spillover, it'll go right on over into the uh, next into the next uh, thing on the list and start getting those lean twos going. Alright, we're gonna click and go to turn 151 now. Alright, let's see here. The most powerful civilizations in the world. We are on the top. And then comes Cyrus and Augustus Caesar. And the other two are not even in the also rounds here. Very good. Alright, we've killed off a barbarian hawk. Let's go ahead and fortify until healed. <sighs> uh oh. Increased volcanic activity. And we finished the grass huts and starting on a lean to. What we got here? The city state of Rome. Alrighty, well. I don't really want to get into their uh, range there. Why don't we go this way and see... Oh, nice little channel there. Hmm. Okay, so that's as far as really we can go. I don't want to get out here, have them move in behind us and trap us, so... We're going to continue moving on out. Alright, buddy, where was I sending you? You were going to come down here and try and cross this desert, weren't you? So let's head on down this way. Alright, the other thing I don't want to do, isn't there a... Yeah, this guy. I don't want to forget about him. Hmm, I still got that large crocodile. I wonder if he's ever going to attack us. Got to remember he's there. And I also probably want to start building a granary soon over here because we've only got 25 turns left. Prehistoric Dance will be coming up next as well. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think we got killed by an Ibex. Jeez, well, there's the random... Ooh, folk dance. Let's start going to more folk dance festivals if they look like that. Alright, prehistoric dance. Life isn't about how to survive the storm, but how to dance in the rain. We got the march upgrade. That gives us, heals us while we're moving. We got bull leaping, dance huts, and fire dance. Alright. Ah, yep. We were destroyed by a barbarian ibex. Mmm, that hurts. I hate that. Alright, we want percussion, music, or hunting. I think we were headed toward hunting, were we not? Mmm, where is hunting? There it is. Alright, I'm gonna look over what these give us. And... Gotta have hard hammer percussion for that. All right, I'm gonna look over what we what these give us, and then we'll be back and see what the choice is. All right, having looked things over, I'm gonna go hard hammer percussion because that's actually gonna reveal stone, marble, stone tools, fine clay. I've been going, you know, how come I can't find them? Well, it's because we haven't found hard hammer percussion yet. So that's where we're gonna go. That will be our next technology, and we'll see if we have any stone or anything around. You, uh, you just sit there, alrighty? 
think you have fortified as long as you can fortify. Um, you are going to try and... S hmm. You're going to try and circle around this way. Oh, there's Rome. Okay. You guys. I'm going to continue doing what you're doing. What do we have down here? That deer and elephants. Let me turn the icons back on. Yep. Elephants and camels. Okay. What's going on in the city? We got lean twos coming on in both places. Uh, and there's no point in doing any um, storage pits in that city yet. What all do we have? A dance hut we can build. Bandits hideout. Village hall. Hmm. Looking it over, we are going to go with animal snare traps to increase our food. We'll have a food and a little gold coming in. That should help us keep growing faster. So we'll have those up here um, after the lean tubes. I said after the lean tubes. Oh, damn, damn. <laughs> happening with the lean twos. While we're at it, let's get that out of the way so we don't have to come back next turn. Got lots of food, got lots of happiness. We'll go ahead and we will throw down... Hmm, actually, why don't we... Why don't we go ahead and build a hunter here, a tracker. National unit, we can have up to five of them. Let's go ahead and build us a tracker next after the lean twos. That'll help replace that uh, poor guy we lost. All right, so that's the end of the turn, and we will continue on. All right, the gatherers have built our first path toward Narlograd here. They've started working on the animal snares. Let's have them continue on this way. Alright, right up here, and then over here, circle around Rome, stay out of the sight of anybody, very good, we're still able to get through the desert, and next turn. Maybe if we're on the same side of the river, it will encourage that guy not to, uh, or encourage that uh, crocodile to come after us there. Oh, are we injured? When did we get injured? Hmm. We'll go ahead and heal ourselves up. So we're going to take damage this turn, and then we'll be okay the next turn. This is crazy, that thing won't come after us. If he doesn't get us this turn, we will continue on into the darkness there and see if we can't. And that, that really slowed down production and growth, didn't it? Yep. Narlo City went from 80 something to 123. Alright. We'll keep that guy moving on into the darkness there. See if we can. Ooh, what are you fighting? What are you fighting? 
A desert tortoise. Excellent. All right, what do we always already have? We already have Woodsman 1. Let's take him in the Woodsman 2. Fortunately, the promotions pretty much healed them up. And we got a vulture over here as well. So we're going to fortify for the moment against that vulture. We are just going to continue moving because that guy is never going to attack us. Hard hammer percussion in the next turn. And then we will. What is that, a wild horse? Oh, jeez. A horse and a vulture. Good grief. Um, let's move you down here. Let's keep you moving this way. Let's go down here and see what was going on with that guy. We gotta come in this way. Onager? Jeez, alrighty. Hard hammer percussion up next. The finest workers in stone are not copper or steel tools, but the gentle touches of air and water working at their leisure with a liberal allowance of time. Nice quote. Let's see. I also, I always love this quote. I don't know what weapons will be used in World War III, but in World War IV, people will use sticks and stones. Albert Einstein. All right. Let us continue on and see what we're going to go after next. I think next on our agenda is going to be hunting. Um, if we do ever get a actual border pop, up here in this area. We should hopefully take over those elephants there. I would hope the border will pop and take over the elephants and if it does we can build a camp there and the camps are much more efficient much better than the uh, gathering sites. For no other reason than the fact that it does not eat up the unit. Um, the gatherers do not get destroyed so that would be a good thing to go. Let's see. Yep, we got an oasis there, so we will be able to continue on down this way without any damage. And you're not hurt either. Okay. Which way are we going to take you? We've already gone that, so let's continue on. Yes, up there. Cross through Brazil's territory. Next up will be turn 160. Right. Now, which way can you go and not get hurt? Hmm. I think. Come on over and scoot up that side there. I think we should hopefully be okay. Just have to keep you out of the strict desert tiles. Is there water there? No, not yet. What about there? Okay, so we can get on past. Take another turn of hurt. Oh, Lord. Another turn of hurt with a crocodile and a hawk staring in the face. It's not the most fun place to be. What's happening here? What are you doing? Are you fortifying? Yeah, we got to remember not to forget the guys around. Back at the city. We're good. Four and eight. All right. I'd love to.
jumped across there, but I can't. So we'll just have to continue on and see what's going on here. Yeah, let's get you out of that. You're know, kind of between a crock and a hard place. <laughs> Not the hawk. How many of them are there? Why do you think the crocodile's not going to attack me too? Jeez. Okay, this is going to be a uh, difficult choice of thinking what to do. We got the dreaded ibex here. Starting to think that uh, after it took out my clubman. Beginning to worry that uh, plus 15 bonus. Let's go up that way. Begin to wonder it was like the chipmunks in my Minecraft game that kept taking my character out. Like, worry about just how dangerous are those things. Snares in six, tracker in two. I'm gonna have to remember to come back there next turn. Ooh, 75, that's a good one. Maybe he'll catch up with us. Uh, what you got down here? Another onager, a viper. I hate being stuck between two of them there. Not good at all. Reminds me though, did I have any stone in the vicinity up here? Way over here. Alright, that gives me an idea. Okay, there's stone here as well, I guess on that mountain? Yeah, I'll have to definitely learn how to use mountains to get the stone off of that though. Not sure how much further down the road that is. Let's see where we're gonna go from the tracker. Um, the rock gatherer. Get to come up next. All right, next turn, 164. Yeah. That plus 100% against animals. There we go. Of course, the other one's gonna attack. Him. Oh no! Why does the barbarian onager have a trained to tracker Narlograd? All right. Why does he have what looks like a saddle bag or a saddle blanket across his back? Whoops! I forgot we had that viper, so we better make sure we're in some good territory here. And that would not be it. There we go, that would give us a plus 75. Well, that's going to put us in the range of a... Okay, an auric. I thought it was a unicorn there for a second. Ow. I don't want to get any closer to him either. Alright, back down here. hate it when it makes me bounce back and forth like that. Oh, good grief. Where am I at here? 15 bonus, 25 bonus. Let's go up here. The animals are certainly coming out in force tonight. Tracker 1. What kind of bonuses do you get already? You already get Hunter 1. Let's promote you up to Hunter 2. Perhaps Woodsman, Gorilla, Forest and Bamboo, hmm. Well, you're a hunter or a tracker, so we're going to send you on along that line. And we will head you out and see if you can take out some of these animals that are busting out all over the place. Viper wandered off, so.
so we can continue on our exploring here. situation where I was taking damage and between two animals. Good. We've got hunting coming online in two and I think both of our cities have something coming up in two. A pigeon. <laughs> We've killed a barbarian pigeon. God's sake I'm glad y'all were able to actually kill it. Would have been most embarrassing otherwise. Can we take the hawk? We should be able to take the hawk, shouldn't we? Desert tortoise blocking our path. And you want to drive us out. Alright, we're just gonna sit and fortify. I know you're there. You, get out here and hunt some of these really annoying animals. And we'll go one more turn here. Get things set up in the cities. Oh, wasn't the tortoise attacking us? It's the Ibex, now the tortoise. Of course, it's much slower. But we keep killing the things. Alright, Scout, you've got Combat 1, you've got Hunter 1. What are these? Arctic Combat. Oh yeah, that's exactly what we need. There we go. Can safely travel the desert without receiving damage. Plus 50 desert defense, plus 20 desert attack. That is a good thing to have while you're sitting here. Let's go ahead and move up that way. You. What are the odds? Let's take out the Viper. Good. You guys need to heal up. We got a place where you can. Yes, let's go here. Then you'll heal. Good defensive spot. And that is not good. Yeah, let's get you away from these guys. I would far rather be sitting over here and take my chances with the gazelle than the big hairy guys. Now we need to set up these two towns. Our next thing in the line, we got the rock gatherer. Anything else that gives us hammers? Village hall. 48 turns. I don't think so. Turns. We still got plenty of time to build the storage pit. Let's get some more. Dance hut. Let's get some more food coming in. There we go. And what's happening over in Narlo City? We got the snare traps. We need to build a rock gatherer after that. Okay. So we're gonna have both of those coming in. And have I forgotten anybody? Alright, no, you're sitting there doing your thing. You're sitting there doing your thing. You are sitting there doing your thing, waiting for that bear to come down. If you chase two rabbits, you will lose them both. Thank you, Leonard. I missed you. I haven't heard you in a while. Javelin ears, spearmen. Very good. We got some nice, nice units that come online here. 
would be a lot of really nice uh, a lot of really nice not ethnic national units if you had uh, those particular those particular cultures in your boundaries got some nice camps and all coming on basically a camp for every kind of herd animal there is out there and what do we lead to canine domestication warfare always cool poison crafting tanning portable shelters and we can build the camps now all right so let us once again take a look at the big picture see what we can move down from here all right I think we are gonna go ground stone because that leads to natural pigments that will give us the clay pit we got fresh water nearby in one of our cities anyway gives the clay pit which will give us another hammer so we'll go ground stone here that'll be our choice All right. And when we pick up, we will start moving our folks. We've constructed the snare traps, began the rock gatherer. And we should see another thing pop up here about what we built in the other city. So that's where we'll pick up when we come back. I um, hope you all have enjoyed it. And we will definitely see you next time. Bye-bye.